Hey guys, sorry I couldn't be there today. Um, but here's what I want you to do first today. Uh, we're gonna take a couple notes in your lab notebook on Ohm's law, uh, which is a equation that relates the three basic uh, parts of a circuit that we've been learning about, current, voltage, and resistance. So um, grab your lab notebooks, uh, we are going to put this on a new page. All right, start, start a new page. We're just going to take a couple notes on Ohm's law and introduce that real quick. So I'm going to do this really quick and let's talk about Ohm's law. So, oh, what color do I want to use? Let's just go back. Ohm's law. All right, right at the top of the page put Ohm's law there. All right, and Ohm's law, like I said, gives us the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. I'm not as great at writing with this as I used to be. Gives the relationship between the three fundamental parts of a circuit current voltage and resistance. My face is in the way. So real quick before we actually give the relationship, I just want to make sure we're all on the same page in terms of um, current voltage and resistance and their the variables in the unit. So uh, I'm going to make a little table here. It's not as easy as it looks. One more. I'll add to that if I have to. Um, so we've got voltage, current, and resistance. And we've got the variable, variable, and the unit. So uh, voltage variables of V, unit is Volts, also a V. Current is I. Unit is amps with an A. And resistance is R. Unit is ohms, which uh, has a little bit of a funky unit or uh, descriptor. It's the upside down W. That's the Greek letter omega. So voltage, we use a V to represent it. The unit is volts. Current, we use an IRA to represent it. Its unit is amps and resistance is R and its unit is ohms. So Ohm's law gives us the relationship between these three. And it's really, uh, it's actually pretty straightforward. Ohm's law is just voltage equals current times resistance. That's it. That's the law. Voltage equals current times resistance. Now we can use the variables to represent these and make it a little bit easier to see. So I'd probably put V is equal to I times R. And then we could also rearrange this a couple different ways so that we could get it solved for current. Right? I is equal to V divided by R or R is equal to V divided by I. So three different ways to write the same equation. It's all Ohm's law. It all gives us the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. All right, so there it is. That's, that's what we have for notes today. Ohm's law gives the relationship between current voltage and resistance. The relationship is voltage equals current times resistance. V equals I times R. I equals V over R. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Get rid of that and that and that. 
n r equals d over i. Um, and we have this little table here that might help us out if we ever get confused on what the variables or the units are for those three big things, right? Voltage, current, and resistance. Voltage is the V, measured in volts, current is an I, measured in amps, and resistance is an R, measured in ohms. So get this into your lab notebooks. Um, the second thing I want you guys to do today is a practice worksheet um, that goes through a couple example problems of using Ohm's law to solve for voltage or to solve for current or to solve for resistance. Um, the next video that I'm going to be posting here uh, will be kind of a walkthrough solutions guide to that worksheet. All right. So if you're having trouble with that, um, check back on Schoology. The second video in the folder uh, will be a walkthrough of that Ohm's law worksheet. All right. So this in your notebook, and then uh, go ahead and get started on the um, worksheet for today. All right, I'm gonna stop this video now and start the next one.